Welcome back to Modified Garage. On this episode, I'm servicing my 2013 Triumph Daytona 675. I know it's been a while since I've posted some content, but I've been really busy doing house renovations. Check out Modify Home on Instagram if you've got time. Um, but what I want to do going forward, I do have a lot to do is I want to start making more videos for Modify Garage. I have a lot to do. So, but let's get started doing this oil change. Firstly, what I need to do is get the bike standing up straight. I'm going to put it on its bike stand because the fenders have to come off of the oil change. This is the first time I'm removing the fairings. So I know I've got a bolt up or bolt screw, whatever you want to call it. One, two, three, maybe this one as well. And there's a few plastic clips. It's a five millimeter, five millimeter Allen key. So what I'm going to do, because it's the first time I'm doing it, I'm going to remove everything I need to remove, then play around with it to see how easily it comes off, not force anything. Um, and I'll sit there and have to just, yeah, I'll find everything and pull it apart. So let's get to it. I've taken out four screws now, bolts, whatever you want to call them. Um, now all that's left is the plastic scrivets or plastic clips, whatever you want to call them. I think there's one two, three, four, five, six on this side. So I've just got myself like a little plastic scrivet removal tool. And if I'm going to get stuck, I've got one of these. So I'll try and get them out easily without breaking them. All right, my mistake. So I'm looking under here. I thought they were plastic uh, scrivets, but they're actually uh, another screw. So with an Allen key, same. So I'm just going to take these off. So I finally got it off. Um, so it's taken 11 screws with a five millimeter Allen key and four of these scrivet things. So what it's done, it's allowed me to access the oil filter, which is here and the sump plug, which is here. So we can get cracking to changing the oil. So according to the owner's manual, um, this is the motor oil that they reckon, the Castrol Power One Racing, not sponsored for this video. And I'm just using a Ryko RMZ119 oil filter, direct replacement. So what I'll do, I'll go on the other side. I'll take off the, um, the cap. Yep, so I'm just taking the engine oil cap off. All I need for the sump is a 13 millimeter socket. So I've got the engine oil um, draining. I'm just going to undo the undo the oil filter. Oil's all drained now, so I've got to put everything back together. The owner's manual says that the oil sump plug is 25 newton meters, so I'm going to put that back in. And the oil filter, they say is 10 newton meters, but usually just give it enough. Don't over tighten it, just put it in and maybe hand tight as much as you can. Then maybe about a quarter turn or something like that. So I've got my torque wrench all set up for 25 newton meters. It's 25 newton meters. So get my new oil filter out.
cover it with oil. Make sure all the mating surfaces from the is clean. I'm not going to put oil in this filter because it sits on the side. And I don't want anything tipping out. I'm going to put it back in. So I'm doing as much as I can by hand. That should be enough. And all I do is get my little cup here. Oil filter cup and just give it a bit of a turn, that's it. And that's done. So it's time for the new, for the new oil. So the oil's gonna be pour, poured in throughout the top. And your dipstick, where you're gonna keep on checking, is this here. So this is your dipstick, and this is your upper level, so you don't wanna exceed this point on the dipstick here. So I think it takes around three and a half liters, but because the bike's on a slight angle, I'll put it into about there, drop it off the stand, um, and then I'll check it slowly, slowly. So I'll put the dipstick back in. Then I'll start tipping the oil, slowly, slowly. You don't want to overfill. You just want to put enough in, and if you have to add more, you just add more as you go. And just give it a quick check. So I've put in about three litres now. So I'm just going to take the dipstick out. Give it a wipe first. So you can see it's still at the top. So I've still got a lot more to go. So I've got exactly three litres in the bike now. Um, and I'm going to put everything back together. Turn it on, make sure it's not leaking from the sump plug and the oil filter. Um, so at the moment, the oil, even though I've wiped it off now, it's coming up to the second line. Um, the manual does say that to check, the op to, to check the oil, it needs to be at operating temperature. So I've only got half, I'm quite confident I can run the bike with up to this. So what I'll do, I want to check it when the wheel is flat on the back. So I'll put everything together now, start it up, and then uh, make sure nothing's leaking, then put it all back together again, take it for a quick ride, and um, check the oil when I come home, just to make sure, see if I have to top it up or anything. Just be mindful when you're doing this, it's always better to put less oil and then you can just top it up as you go. You don't want to overfill it. So I've got about three liters in here. Got all plugged up. I'm gonna take it for a quick spin. Just double checking this. And it looks like it does need a little bit more oil, but I want to take it for a drive first, just to get the oil levels right. And that's all there is to it, servicing a Triumph Daytona 675. So you really only need basic tools like an Allen key, the scrivet removal tools, you need a basic socket set, and you need to be able to unscrew the oil filter, so a little tool for that, but pretty much that's all there is to it. Um, other motorbikes might be similar, I'm not sure. If I've done something wrong, you'll probably let me know down in the comments. But if you like that video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more content from Modify Garage, as I said at the beginning video, I'm going to put more in for you. Hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you on the next video.